Hey guys, I'm Zero here, and today I have a video concerning the CSGO scene, and I know I've been playing it a lot lately, but I want to address some concerns that may, be some, may have some diminishing returns as to why you may not want to buy um, CSGO. Even though it's so cheap, there's three main reasons, no actually, I'm going to name five, uh, there's a lot, I'm going to name five main reasons why CSGO will make you pull your hair out, and possibly never make you play the game again number one it, on the lot, top of the list is as you get into higher ranks um you may there's hackers lots and lots of hackers and you and you will get deranked from like say mge which is master guardian elite which i was today i deranked from it twice because of due to hackers and the only way to get your rank back is if you play with like with ranks at least two ranks higher than you so in my case it would be le or lem and the problem, the problem with this is that it takes so long for them to get deranked. You you would have gotten deranked again, and you won't get your rank back. So, like I guess the only way I see you doing this is if Valve has to like crack down on the hacks. Number two, the the problem I'm having is Smurfs. Smurfs, if you don't know what Smurfs are, if you haven't played CS:GO, Smurfs are people that usually have that are maybe like LEs or Legendary Eagle, which is like the third or fourth highest rank in the game and they'll buy a new account just to play with silvers which are the lowest rank in the game just so they can get a lot of kills and you know warm up and the problem with this is it prevents people that are legitimately trying to rank up um have a harder time playing the game because of the smurfs are will be getting all the kills and stuff and for and maybe cause people to derank it may not it may not sound like a big problem but it's a huge problem especially when you're trying to rank up it's really annoying one person can just ruin the whole game it's the same thing with the hackers number three you have to get rank three just to play matchmaking and even when you get to rank three you need to play you have to win 10 times and you only can win two times per day so i can i so I, get, I can see where that may be a problem for most people um number three is the mics in csgo it's just, it's just crazy man like People always talking down upon you because maybe you're not top writing. You don't know what top writing is when you're at the top of the scoreboard. So people will talk down on you and tell you that, um, oh, um, you're bad because you didn't kill him. And you know, it's it's just griefing. And then I maybe I should just say griefing. Griefing, yeah, when people griefing is in CSGO matchmaking is when people throw the game. You know, they're trying to be right get that so much when you get out of M Nova um, Ali. Like, there's so many things wrong with CSGO, and by the time you get, you know, get used to it and you actually manage to get to DMG, that's when people start, that's where the smurfs are in DMG. And then when you get to LE is when it starts to get better, but that's when you get all the tryhards and stuff. And I'm pretty sure global is the best place to be or supreme, because that's when there's no smurfs, you know, no hackers, and that's when everything's great. Now, number five, is just like the skins and stuff like honestly I'm some, some like I know some people might disagree with me but there's like legitimate skins that cost a thousand plus dollars like you can spend at least easily a hundred K on the game just in skins like it's crazy opening cases buying skins stickers everything you know it's all cosmetic you don't have to but you know, when you play the game for a while, you might as well kind of do it. I've been spent more than hundred dollars in skins on this game. I probably spent fifty, maybe, just in skins that I use all the time, just in guns I use all the time. So yeah, those are five main reasons why you may not want to play CS:GO. And you know, just to touch back on the hacking and smurfing, you're gonna count, you're gonna, you're gonna get that way more than you get any the other other games I mentioned, excluding number five. Because the problem with smurfing is that you would still do rank, and they may never ever get you. They may never ever get like um, Overwatch banned due to the fact that it's hard to ban people for smurfing. Just because, um, just because some people may have good games and you know get a high rank, but it's easy to tell when people are only using deagles, which is the game I just had. The guy had who wall hacks and he deagled everything. And it was, it's just it's just annoying and hackers like I wish I wish people would stop saying that Valve has the best anti-cheat system because they don't. 
they really do not have the best anti-cheat system that they did. Cisco would probably be the best first person shooter in the world. No, because while anti-cheat is so bad, you know, like, it just doesn't work. Like, people hack every day in CSGO. Like, you run in at least, everyone in the world run into at least 100,000 hackers in one day. And, you know, they may not get banned. Like, just look at, if you watch a bunch of Overwatch, I don't have any Overwatch videos yet, but sooner or later I will. But you can literally just go on YouTube, type Overwatch, and, and one one of three, you will see, like, hackers with aim, aim hacks, wall hacks, or even trigger. Those three things are the things that people have. And, you know, it's so hard, it's so hard to not tell, because, you know, when you're playing on something like that, you still need to drop the thing, you just get shot. See, that's, like... It's, it's hard to tell if they're legit or hacking or not. And you can look at their rank, look at how many hours they played. You know, some people like to say, oh, well, if they only played, like, um, 10 hours, you know, 30 hours, they're smurfing. And it's really hard to tell because, you know, maybe that guy has a busy week and maybe he's only legit in his place. Only, like, only he maybe only has, like, 10 or 15 hours to play in the, in the week, in, in the span of two weeks. So, you know, it's kind of hard to ban people for something like that. And especially in Overwatch, since you can't tell what people are saying, you can't see the chat, you can't hear what they're saying, you can't see the ranks, you can't see their, their level. So it's kind of hard to ban people for this. And I hope I, I hope Valve actually sees this video. I know pe many people have made videos complaining about it. But I hope Valve actually, like, sits down, listens to the feedback, because it's terrible. And if you get ranked into Silver... I suggest you just get another account and start over and try to not be in silver because if you were in silver, if you start off in silver, like, you're not going to get out. Like, people, like, I have this one guy who's an LE now. He has over, like, 500 wins. He's, like, an LEM or something like that. He said he was in, and he got placed into silver one when he was really bad and then when he really wanted to get good. He said it took him about, like, a month, two months just to get out of silver. And that, that is due to all of the smurfs, mainly just smurfs, because that's what smurfs do, they just, they just make new accounts just to feed on the, the bad people that suck. But that's all for today's little video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, so let me know videos this whole week, I've been trying to do homework from school. I'm, I'll tr I try to make um, videos, but I have to go to, I have to study and then I, when I do get try to make the voiceovers, you know, sometimes I don't think it's good enough, so I kind of end up just scrapping it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I do have another one of those Your Monday Antidote. I'm going to try and get some Chopper Master. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, it's always good. And I'll catch you next time.